What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? I think the intro got better each episode. <laughs> I got to maybe I should practice before we start so that way it's always good. Because that Monday episode, that was rough. <laughs> um thank you for everybody for tuning in thank you shannon for the uh for a great week if you have not already please tune in to uh monday's episode which we discussed uh the high ransomware infrastructure being seized so ransomware gang being uh being uh owned by 13 countries for their ransomware as a service efforts uh and then we have on tuesday dozens of cybersecurity companies are uh, laying off people so we talk about how that's kind of counter to uh where we should be at with our lives right now and then Wednesday's episode, uh, we have a discussion where we discuss, uh, discussion where we discuss, right? Uh, better, better vocabulary in the future, people. Um, the U.S. Air Force selecting Howard University and um, how that uh, Howard University is a uh, co consortium of sorts with uh, 13 other universities and how they will be uh, uh, granted $12 million a year for the next five years to do their research and um, build their faculty and um, uh, take care of their students when it comes to autonomy and other systems that the Air Force is very interested in uh, doing R&D and optimizing in the future. So uh, definitely a, a great to hear type story and how um, uh, potentially the makeup of the current Air Force administration and the, uh, the Department of Defense uh, kind of helped that conversation take place to get these, uh, these schools involved um, and where they may not have been in, in the past, right? So diversity and inclusion um, definitely adds to the conversation and uh, kind of helps these type of efforts uh, take place. So definitely tune in for that one. And now this is the Everything Else episode. So we do call this the weekly rundown. We talk about games, books, movies, all that good stuff. So with all that being said, how was your week, Shannon? No complaints, man. Uh, nothing to complain about. Um, so you already alluded to it in a previous episode. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, Last of Us, I'm not feeling it. How is that possible? You you are the last of us, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> you were the last Maybe. to be converted. Maybe. Like, so counterculture. It's such a hot take. <laughs> I, I don't I, understand. It's just good. <laughs> it, it is getting rave reviews. It really oh, is. Oh, so good. I couldn't get through the first episode. But again, but but here's the thing. So like I like I like I told you, man, like I'm not a post-apocalyptic or like end of the world type genre yeah. guy like that's the zombies yeah. not into zombies either but i gave it a shot so like the first episode was like an hour and a half hour 25 yeah. minutes or something yeah, like yeah. that i was a little past the, uh, probably 52 54 minutes in and i was just like all right enough of this this is not going to be so crazy to me and so like the first one is like an hour and 20 hour and 30 the next yeah. one's only like 40 so it feels very yeah. short and now this one tonight is like an hour and 20 so it's like however long they take they need to, to develop whatever episode it is which uh has been going pretty close to beat by beat, but obviously there's some differences uh, that I don't want to get any spoilers, uh, but they keep it interesting enough where even I, a person who played this game 10 years ago, is just like, oh, okay, I likes it. <laughs> Shannon's like, I don't likes it. <laughs> yeah, get I just this I... critically acclaimed season two has already been renewed, uh, record breaking show off my screen. It's hurting my eyeballs, is what Shannon said. All right, I'm not that harsh. Am I that harsh? Do I sound like that? Okay, maybe I am. I don't it's know. like get remove this filth from my screen. <laughs> Me and the other, you know, the world won't enders say this right, is not right. how this is gonna go. But this no, is, I, I couldn't. This is it. research, sir. We're getting ready. You over here, you'd be very woefully prepared for potential robots or parasites or zombies, <laughs> all the above. I think Resident Evil one time, it was like the T-virus caused the, the water to drain out of the oceans. I don't know, but I'm prepared in case it happens. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't, You could be right. You could be right. I, I just, I couldn't get into it, man. Like, <laughs> I found myself like watching other stuff on my phone. As man, it was that's so like, crazy to me. Yeah. It's, it's So it started yeah. and I was like, okay, I'll, first 10 minutes or so, you got to give it whatever, right? Yeah. 
And then I was just like, okay, like when, when are we going to get past this? And then there's a spot like two o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden some stuff pops off and I'm like, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. We're going to get to it. I put my and that's, phone. That's where the game starts. So the game oh, okay. starts when she wakes up. That's, that's yeah. the intro to the game. So for the first one, right. Cause there's two games, right? Yeah. For, for okay. part one. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I imagine so, right. Cause it's everything starting up. So it'd have to be the first Yeah. So you know, like literally you wake up as the girl, Sarah. Uh, in the game so the movie gives you a little bit more backstory so you you you're even well you're not but i'm even more engrossed <laughs> yeah <laughs> by giving you a little bit you of played the games because you played the games right and you like yeah it. i played part one and part two yeah yeah so and and there's a i got a co-worker same way man he's like man i, I love those games you know what i mean and he's yeah. liking it he's loving it and i'm like maybe i needed to play the games to actually nah. enjoy because so, so shamir never even like she didn't know i even played the game that's how long it's been and she didn't sit there and watch me play it um yeah Sometimes she does, but I guess at this particular time, she does has no recollection of me playing uh, The Last of Us. And she likes it? She likes the show. Okay. All right. That's just yeah. me. That's just me. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. I I, I don't know. <laughs> you, know what, you know what hooked her? Like, not to give anything away for those who have not watched it yet, it, like the two people who have not watched the show. Um, <laughs> because it, it's breaking records right now. Um, it was the little boy. That, that's what hooked her. I don't, I don't think I got that far. Is at the very, or what is it? Yeah, it's part, it is part one. You had to, you had to, where the, the little, uh, little boy stumbles into the Fedra camp. That's in episode one. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the hook for her. Yeah. She, See, I, she I, believed them. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like, what? You yeah. believe, you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, you're right. You're right. Yeah. That was, but even then like the the part of that where it's like you got the other person that's with him that's just like no i can't do it and i'm like look at what you're doing you're like you've been doing this for how long now you know what i mean right, like right. so for people that have played the game like there's a time jump right like so i yeah, imagine the same thing in the game it, it goes yeah. right from the the um everything going to, to hell basically and then it he jumps 20 years but yeah. the it's not in sync right like so in the game i think it's like in the 2010s but in the show, it's early 2000s. So you get that nostalgia that's a little bit different. Nostalgia. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't get down with it. It was just me. And like, I kind of knew, like the point, the part you're talking about with the, with the boy, like, I was like, wait a minute, is that good? Like, I saw the thing, cause like he's yeah. behind, you know, the kid and he shows the thing. I was like, is that good? And the way she was talking, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, right, right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm i starting to think I just want to be anti everything, but I don't think that's the case. Right? Like I, just, <laughs> I have things that I don't like that I have not liked for years. So it's right, not right. It's just a genre you, you right. uh, do not do not care for. And, and, and like, I'm, I'm starting to think I'm coming off as that guy is just like, it's like the people that read newspapers and think they're better than everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I'm starting to feel, but I'm like, that's not me. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that. Like, mm -hmm. I want, I want the dumb action, like start chopping people's heads off and shooting them in the right, face. Right. That's fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm not sitting here. I don't think. I, don't think I respect it though. I respect it. He's like, no, nah, man, let's just get straight to the, the to yeah. the, uh, the, the beheading and the yeah, I don't I don't need the dialogue. And and here's the thing. There's a lot of beheadings, I imagine, in zombie movies, right? Because you yeah. gotta go for the head with zombies. But I'm just mm -hmm. like, zombies, I don't care about, you know what I mean? Like I watch vampires, werewolves, you know what I mean? I'll watch right, the right. world, you know what I mean? I'll do all that, but yeah, just not just not for me, man. Uh there's a franchise I haven't thought about in years. You said underworld. I remember underworld? it was like five of those things, right? At least. Yeah, it was at least five of those. And they were, I would say I watched all of them. And I was not disappointed. wasn't They weren't wasn't, bad. Yeah, it wasn't uh, Shakespearean in nature, right? It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's take Blade and go from there. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can get down with that. Throw some uh, some lichens in there, right? The, uh, exactly. the yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I get, I like that too. But I like, like I don't know. I, I just, I like this as well. Like the uh, the more cerebral thriller. Uh, zombie flicks like there's one I, I really want to watch and i keep saying i'm gonna watch it and i keep forgetting about it it's called um the cure so the cure um is um like i have not watched it yet so this is just the, from the trailer the cure it, it takes place after the zombie outbreak where they find the cure 
and they're able to um, uh, cure people who were infected, right? They are able to make them regular humans again. But like, just like you would, you would think what would actually happen is those people are not well received anymore, right? Because they were, where they were zombies, they were eating people, they were just, you know, destroying stuff. So there is a uh, kind of a class system built around it. Like, you know, y'all can only do these, these things, like we don't trust you. And then there's some animosity on their side, like now we're cured. And it, it just, it seems like it's about to pop off again. <laughs> like they're on the verge of civil war because of this. And there's still some people out there who are still infected, right? They didn't cure everybody, just the people that they're able to round up. Um, so, so like- they're, they're not able to cure everybody or- well, I mean, you But this doesn't get to them, uh, right? Like there's people like in abandoned buildings and stuff like that, right? Like gotcha. they're still out there, uh, feral, there's feral humans out there, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so and just like the 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 politics behind it and all that stuff, I'm like, I want to see that, like, because that's what we really go down. Like, oh yeah, we cured you, but mm, you <laughs> you you ate my sibling, right? Nah, <laughs> can't I get the, down with that. I, I can understand that animosity too, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I can understand it because it, I I would like to think I'm a better person than that, right? To be like, look, they were not in control of themselves, right? Right. Third, but it's like, but at, I don't know, right? It comes a point where it's like, when when do you let that when do you let that be the guiding light here, right? Like not to, right. not to get too much into it, but like Kanye doesn't say the things he says because he's crazy. You know what I mean? Like he's always felt like that and the craziness just inhibits his filter, right? Like, uh, that's what you're saying, right, right. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah, like, now, now he's un uninhibited. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But, and I know it's not the same. I know it's not an, an apples to apples comparison, but like for them, like they they did not, they were not in control, like literally not in control. Right, but would, would you trust them? Like, what if it only worked for so long? Like, what if five years down the road, there's zombies again? Do you know that, though? That's the thing. You don't. So that's yeah. that's why I'm like, this movie, like, this might actually be really good, but it, it's not, to my to my knowledge, it's not critically, critically acclaimed, so it might not be a good movie, but it's always been on my backlog. I'm like, one day it's going to be on an app, at least 15 <laughs> that I own is going to pop up, and I'm going to watch this thing. So, so let me ask you this. So, so... And we're getting into hypotheticals here, right? So if that was the case, like if you don't trust them because you're like, oh, they could go back to doing this. Like, do you trust anyone who's been rehabbed in prison? You know what I mean? Right, right. And then, then it goes into that as well, right? Like you, you would take this and like in your brain, make it practical, right? Like, okay, like he's, this person's been reformed. They no longer suffer from whatever this illness, because I, I, I don't know what it's going to be because it can't be supernatural if they find a cure for it. So it's got to be something like viral or something made these people uh zombies so as I, i'm very like i gotta watch this one day but it's been it's been out for five years six years something like that it just it went to theaters i was like man i'll get to it and then it went to showtime i didn't have showtime now i have showtime and it went somewhere else <laughs> like i'm like it's it's running away from me <laughs> so it's a it's a movie not a tv series it's a, it's movie. a movie yeah it's like an hour and a half movie or something like that but who's in it I, like it doesn't even sound familiar to me you know uh I mean? so the only person that i can remember uh, off the top of my head it's uh it's elliot page but by uh his his dead name so it's like that long ago where um ellen when it was when he was ellen ellen page right or they they might be they i'm, I'm, I'm not sure yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful i just don't right right yeah so that's the only only person i can remember of like american fame because you know like most of these people are like it's the british people taking over like they're in every role <laughs> they, are, they are taking uh over um the uh the movie industry by storm and they, maybe they always did and i just never noticed but it always throws me off that I see him in a, a movie or TV show, and then I, I watch uh, an interview, and I'm like, "Oh man, another British person! They 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 are taking over, especially especially when they're black, right? It's like I know they're a black Brits, but it still surprises me, you know? Right? Like, he I'm just like, albums, wow. right? Like, yeah, yeah. He was like he's British. <laughs> it's yeah. been years now, though. So the one from because I, I started watching again, uh, Snowfall. Yeah, the guy from Snowfall, same thing. Is he British? He's a Brit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. They are they are definitely uh, taking yeah. over. Because because what blew my mind was um, when Idris Elba played uh, a, a English character. I didn't. It didn't. It was weird. It was like he's just using his regular voice. <laughs> but I'm like, is he making up an accent? Like, it was like forty. It's probably one that you didn't watch. It's like forty eight weeks or forty eight months later or whatever like that zombie flick because it was 48 oh. days later and then they made a sequel i think he's in the sequel is it 20 is it 28 yes yeah, 28 you're right 28 I, I days later 
And you are correct in that I have not seen it, Ryan. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the sequel to that one. Is uh, Idris Elba is playing like a, a general or a major or something like that. Like he's he's British uh, military, but he's just talking. He's just like, is that made up? Like, is he making up an accent? No, that's his real. Voice. That's not <laughs> String, Stringer Bell. What's yeah, Stringer name? Bell. Yeah, that's not Stringer Bell. You know, they said he they said that he had to go into because the uh, the director was biased against British actors, so he had to he had to sell that he was not British. Which is so crazy. That's a great actor right there. Did you send that to me? I read I, that. I, I read don't think that. I sent it to you. I don't think I sent it okay. to you. Okay. No, yeah, I, read, I, I read the I watched, Yeah, I watched it. Uh, he had an interview about it. He was like, I had to I had to really sell that I was American. Breakfast Club. That's what it was yep, on. Yep. The Breakfast Club. Yes. That's where so that's where I saw it. And I was like, what? But one guy caught on. Like one guy yeah. knew. Yeah, one guy that called was, on. In the, in the, it wasn't the director, but one guy was in there. He was like, what? <laughs> yeah, because he probably did something. Like there's these little intricate things like in Glorious Bastards, like uh, when, he, when he threw up the, uh, the number for three, but he did it the, uh, the American way. So instead of doing like this, he did it like this. And the dude knew right off the bat. Like, but he had played the character so well of being German. And they did that one thing that was American and it all went to hell. I did not know that. I've never seen Inglorious Bastards either. Though. Oh, you would love it. I, I don't think I would. It's Tarantino, right? And it's it's Tarantino, but it's very straightforward. They get right to the, they get right to the the, the killing. Like it, they, there's a scene where it's it's so what's the word for it? Where it's just overdone. It's gratuitous. It's so gratu so violent and gratuitous. The Even bear, out hmm? the bare Jewish guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah you I just like, I don't I don't just say the short version of the word. It just sounds harsh to me. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, but it, there's a scene at the end where it's like alternate history, like this thing didn't actually happen, but they just it's it's so long. <laughs> Even you be like, all right, yeah, yeah, cut, like cut. <laughs> and you just keep going. I think you would enjoy it. I no, I'm I'm just not a Tarantino fan. And and believe it or not, I know people will say, Oh, you're not a fan because of you know the N-word controversy is right, right. right. Not why? Like I just don't like the way he makes his movies, like it's the time hopping, that, right? It's that, like because nothing's ever chronological order. But you know what? I don't even mind that because Pulp Fiction, I didn't mind. So like Pulp Fiction, uh, the first Kill Bill, I was like, man, those are those are good. Yeah. Like Second Reservoir Kill Dogs, Bill, down with Reservoir Dogs, I was like, mm, okay. Four Rooms. That was one of his his earlier ones. I, I so I know you didn't see one of that. like that's that's you having to go back to find it. Yeah, it's no, called I Four know. Rooms. Is is very chronologically yeah, it's separated. No. No, but like I, I don't know. It's not. It's not even necessarily the time jumping because I've I've watched movies that have, have the time jumping, and I just yeah. think he's, like sometimes it's campy and dumb to me to where I'm like, why? Why are you even doing that? You know what I mean? That's what he does. Yes, I'm. I'm yeah. telling you, he's got dirt on people in Hollywood because he always gets these big time. He keeps getting these. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like you got your your grind houses. You got your. Uh, what about um from was from dusk till dawn a Tarantino flick? Uh, he was in it, so I imagine. Was it, it his? I think it was his. Him and Clooney were in it. I don't know. Yeah, and someone Hayek. It yeah, okay. I think I'm okay. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's his. Uh, one of my favorites. One of my favorite Tarantino movies. Of really? All time. Yes. <laughs> one of my favorites. Wow, I don't get it, man. I, I see, and this is why. Like, the more I think on it, I'm like, Tarantino was so popular, right? Like, people are like, yeah. "Oh, Tarantino flick. I got to go watch that." And I'm like, "Nah, I'll pass." Like Django? I, won't, I won't even watch it when it's when it's streaming. Never seen Django. Django's actually pretty good. Um, never never seen Django, and I like Jamie Fox. That's yeah. the thing. What like I, I watched I watched the one on Netflix he had with the vampires that people were like, ah, oh, it's kind of yeah, iffy. it's kind of iffy. Exactly. <laughs> but I, I, knowing that going in, I was like, but I like Jamie Fox, so I'll watch it. Yeah. You know? What'd you think? What'd you think? It was it was a little iffy. <laughs> a little iffy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see where they were going. I'm yeah. just like, eh. yeah. if they did if. If they did a sequel, which I, I don't think they will, because Netflix will cancel something in a second. They say, like, I, you see the article, like, I'm jumping around, but did you see the article where the, uh, when the executive says we've never canceled a, a successful show? No. He said that verbatim. And, like, I, I got to know what their, I have to know what their metrics are for success. Yeah, for sure. Because some of these shows, you'd be like, this is number one in all the territories. They'd be like, nope, not getting, <laughs> not renewing this. So I you'd think, like, I, what, are, what are your metrics? So for them, like, I don't know if they can count hours stream. Like I've seen the figures, but I'm like, is that a guess? Or like, I don't right. know, but like, it's probably membership or not, not membership subscriptions, right? Like maybe like, the, the plus up, like this came out and now we have more yeah. subs. Cause, cause I, I never understood how they made money once they went, um, 
uh, from this to uh, streaming because they, ha they, they have to spend a lot of money on infrastructure. That is not cheap to keep spinning up these instances per person and making sure that they have a good quality of service. Like it has to be costing them a lot of money because Netflix shows used to start out kind of grainy and work their way up. I never have that issue anymore. Like like movies just pop 4K immediately. And they're like, oh, I, there's never a period where I, I go to Netflix and it's like, Netflix is down. Never, I've never, like knock on wood, it's gonna happen today, right? I've never not been able to access Netflix ever. It's been a decade probably. I mean, they've been making money for a long time though. That's the thing, right? So like when they were just doing, what is the DVD shipments or, yeah. you know what I mean? Blu-ray eventually, but when they were just doing that, I mean, they were making a lot of money doing that. So like that stuff, that money is just sat there. And and before they were actually doing the production themselves, I mean, right. I guess they we're spending a little bit, right? Cause they're getting the rights to movies. But when it first started, I imagine all these different uh, production companies and whatnot or distributors, I don't know who makes the yeah. decision. They probably all said, yeah, I need this to, I need this to be out there so more people can see it. And then they'll probably buy the DVD on their own. Right. But yeah, but they're they're just putting out terrible movies now. Like a lot of the ones, uh, I okay, this is opinion, right? But a lot of the stuff that Netflix does on their own, like I just, I'm not for it, man. Like I don't, yeah, you don't like none of the ones I like, like because I, I will go, I would immediately go to Bird Box. That was no. good to me. Nope. <laughs> That's the like, one where they they, they can walk around with the blindfolds on, right? Right. Yep. Box? Yep. Yep. No. <laughs> And, and the thing is, again, like, I like Sandra Bullock, right? Like, right. I don't watch Sandra Bullock movies, but, like, I, I can tell from a trailer. Like, it is, if, I have, was number one. Super, if I have any superpower, it is that. I could tell from a trailer. <laughs> you can write off immediately. I, I, I had you drag me into watching Last of Us, and I knew better. I saw the trailer, and I was like, wow, this is how it is so good. You dragged so good. me I in, did. Man. I did. You tried. You tried. How did I keep falling for this? How do I keep falling for this? Well, this one wasn't just me. This, this one is all of the world. Yeah. <laughs> this, the Last of Us is beloved right this now. Is, this is how I know I am Will Smith and I am legend. Because you I, like Pedro Pascal, right? I do. Yeah. 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 He is a great Joe. Oh. I, I I man, I don't know. I don't know. He got the di dynamics, got the the you 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 think he's a, a good father. <laughs> I just I don't know, man. I I I think I so you didn't finish episode one, so I can't say try episode two. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm done with it. Oh, that's so crazy to me. And I and I had and I had another co-worker, he was like, Oh man, episode two was better right oh it was even up, better up, and then i'm like all right but you like the first one too like i couldn't get through the first one so this is not for you i just i i it, it's always going to be what that first episode was and and you know i think i think they have a formula and i think i, I think they know I, they don't know that i know but i know that they know that they're doing this <laughs> like, so like halo right so when halo came out on amazon like yeah. it started off with a blast, right? Like it was like, okay, we're gonna jump straight to the action. And I was like, all right, you got me. I'm hooked, right? And then it was talking, talking, talking. Another right. action scene. I was like, okay, we're gonna get to it. Now it's gonna be action from here on out, right? It's a video game where people shoot all day, right? Yes. So I've got to, I've got to see a bunch of that. No, 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 no. Didn't do that. So I got, I, I get through episode three, right? You're not gonna remember this, Ryan, but you convinced me to keep watching. You can because there because there was an episode that went back to watching. Master Chief doing Master Chief things. There was an episode of him just just punching brute faces and pulling hornets out of the sky. I didn't get to it. I did, but 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 uh, I, it's probably for the best though because that oof, that series did not did not do it for me. Like it it was like I was with you. I was like let's let's keep this Halo. Like you're doing a lot of talking and it's not even talking. Like they went so off brand or not off brand but they they diverged from the story so heavily that i was like oh they're gonna get somewhere amazing like i because i don't mind it not being i don't mind adaptions uh having artistic license because why would i want to see the same thing i either played or whatever right or read um but it, it i don't know where they're going <laughs> it ended weird and i'm like i don't know what season two looks like so i might even watch season two like, but that's the thing is I think people are trying to be different to be different, right? They're like, all right, we know that we could do shoot 'em ups or whatever, yeah. but let's do something different. Like let's put let's put them doing Shakespeare in the middle of it. And I'm like, well, I'll we'll see that. And I'm not saying that's what happened to Halo. Right. Like, that's state, Station like Eleven, that. which I did not recommend to you, but it's basically Macbeth. 
<laughs> but a, a post-apocalyptic world, Macbeth. And see, this is what this is why I don't almost, watch almost beat for beat. <laughs> yeah. As, and this is why I don't watch Apple TV either, right? Like I'm like, if y'all got Denzel, why did y'all get him to do Macbeth? Like <laughs> the tragedy of Macbeth. He said, well, so I watched the interview. That, that was one of his swan songs. He was like, I always wanted to do this. Because so he, 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 he did acting? He he said he's he's very near being done. So this was on his bucket list to, to being done. Right. And <clears throat> I guess he had done it on on either Broadway or off off Broadway or whatever, but he wanted to do it big. It wasn't terrible, but it definitely was Macbeth. <laughs> like, like, and I if you don't like, so I don't like um I like Shakespeare modern modernized, right? Like because I like the stories, but I, I don't like it to be uh in its original dialogue because I simply cannot decipher it. Like I don't get like like people listen to it, like, oh, it's so poetic and it means this. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm you not at that level. You don't, you don't speak in these <laughs> and thous, right? right? And that's and that's what this Macbeth <laughs> was. Like this Macbeth, but the, the what what helped me was because it was in action. So not only were they saying it in the old English, but then I can actually interpret what's going on by actually watching people do things, as opposed to reading it. Like when I read it, I can just can't envision what's happening, um, as well. So that's that's what turned me off in, in high school for uh, Shakespeare. But when you put it on tv then it, it's better but okay. i wouldn't say i wouldn't i would not go out of your way to see it though like i'm never going to watch it again but it was it was it was a good undertaking like and they got to be spending a fortune to get all these people out there man you got like tom hanks that has like three movies on they there. got that they got the apple money man like at one point they had a hundred billion dollars just sitting just sitting there like this is going to be used to acquire like this is what what people thought they thought this is going to be used to acquire people and apple was just like no nah, we we'll just keep it <laughs> for future endeavors so i guess that's what this is because like yeah they have uh uh what's his name the comedian not will ferrell is it will ferrell no the, the current comedian uh anchorman what's his name the current comedian that's will ferrell yeah yeah will ferrell they have like will ferrell and and ryan reynolds and uh uh christmas tale like they re they redid um um uh the one with um is it Scrooge? Scrooge, yeah. They redid Scrooge. They modernized. They made a musical or whatever. Like, I didn't watch it, but <laughs> it was, that was in the theaters too, though, wasn't it? Did it? Did it get released to theater as well? I thought it went straight to uh, Apple. I thought it was. In, I thought it was in theaters. Maybe not because I when I went on my Cinemark app, I thought I saw yeah. an advertising thing for. But it could have been an Apple TV thing for. I, I wasn't going to watch it though because it was a musical. Like, well, I'm not going to watch that. I don't care. I like Ryan Reynolds. Like, if you're not going to be in a musical that's Deadpool, like, I don't care. And yeah, even, then, musical. even then, <laughs> even then, I probably won't watch that. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm like, nah. But like, yeah, they, they're spending a lot of money. Like, and their production value is always super high. Like, I've, I've watched a couple of shows, like Invasion, I didn't really like, um, when I had a really big budget. Um, what's another one? I, I'm going to start um, Severance, I think is what it's called. It's like critically acclaimed, about to come to its final um, season or whatever. But I heard that was weird. Don't it's a, a M. Shyamalan. Uh, oh. jam <laughs> you made a whole tv series it's on his fourth season's about to start um, i i can't see how you make that work i cannot see how you make m night Shyamalan can't do it in an hour and 45 minutes to where it interests me how are you going to break it up over 10 hours or however long uh, uh i would i i give you signs and i give you um six cents six those cents are, those are the best things he's done but again, all that matters but again <laughs> Look at the other 12 projects he's done. I, and the one the one I like next, he didn't even direct it. I think he was just a producer for it. Was a uh, Devil? What's the one in the elevator? Devil? Yeah, I think it's Devil. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one, but he didn't even direct that one. That Apparently. one was actually pretty good. It was, it was actually pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as his hands come off, like it's right. like oh, it's well, he has the he has the one. Um, oh man, what is it called? It's the one where the kids uh are sent to go see their grandparents. It's like a, a found footage type situation. It's actually pretty good, in my opinion, anyway. Because um, uh, it's just it's it just it jumps off weird real fast. But I, I did see that. I saw the commercial for that. But I was like, no, it's too much like uh, uh, paranormal activity, right? Like, yeah, very very similar, but with his twist on it. Um, but the ones I didn't like, like, I didn't like Lady in the Water. Um, I didn't like The Village. Um, I kind of liked Old. What was it called Old? The one where they're yeah. aging super mm -hmm. fast. I kind of like that one actually. I didn't like the happening. That that one I bought on Blu-ray back when Blu-rays cost thirty dollars. I was upset. 
Is that the Wahlberg one? With the trees? Yeah. yeah, no. I didn't like that happening. Um, so I say he's 50-50. 50? No. He's 50-50. No. 50-50 no. is what I would give him because he has another one coming out. But like, I, oh, so you have, you have um, Unbreakable, which I thought, uh, I was a kid though. So I, I liked Unbreakable. Uh, you got Glass. It was not split. So it was split than Glass. And then you find out that this is a whole MCU M, M. Night Shyamalan's MCU because <laughs> it's all tied together. Even Unbreakable, I like it was okay, right? Because again, a lot of talking, right? Yeah. Like, I'm like, if you are supposed to be like superheroes, like you should be doing more than just lifting a bunch of weights in your basement, right? Like, well, he's, he was trying to ground it uh, as best he could, but then if you watch the sequels, ten, it was like 10 years later, it's like a decade later or more. It was like, oh, by the way, this one is a sequel to that one. You're like, what? I like that. I don't know. I I didn't I didn't get down with not it. Your, not your thing. Not your thing. Um, there's a, a bunch of other stuff. Though. Like you said, Tom Hanks has like three movies on there. Um, their commercials are funny though. Like I'll give it to him. Their commercials for Apple TV are funny. So right. like John Ham, where he's like, I, I give me a give me a, a movie or whatever. Right. Like, right. Show like and he's they're showing all the other ones and they got another one. It's. Uh, Timothy Chalamet is that? Yeah, I just saw that one. Yeah, New, yeah. yeah so, he, like, he talks to um, uh, what's his face, the dude who played in C and uh, uh, uh Momoa. Yeah, he talks to oh, Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. <laughs> he was like working on my second one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like, you got two. Yeah, actually, it might be like his third because <laughs> yeah. he got C and he's got another one, doesn't he? Momoa, or maybe I'm thinking about the one he's doing now. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's War Chief or whatever's the one he's doing now. Yeah. Uh, okay, but I did. So I didn't watch C yet, but I do plan on watching it um, at some point. I don't know. I, I think I, I think that they're going for the critically acclaimed Emmy nominated yada yada yada. I think that's what they're trying to build towards. Because you put all these people and you let them do their passion projects, you will get subs based upon awards won. And that's where they're going wrong. Like all that stuff. <laughs> not serious. Like all that stuff for like best picture and all that. It's never the stuff yeah. that makes the most money, right? It's always some artsy fartsy thing to where it's like. Well, this is best picture because it's the introspective of the human mind and how they do this. And I'm like, yeah, like there will I be blood yeah. or um, no country for old men. You'd like that one? No, 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 <laughs> no. I didn't like American Beauty. I didn't like. Uh... And the thing is, like the ones that usually win, there's almost always controversy because there's something better. Right. Like, right. I don't mind you talking about the human mind if I see it when somebody shoots them in the head. Like, I, okay, I'm like, oh. so, so, okay, so here's one that I'm watching that you may like. I just started. I've not got to the end of the the, the first episode because it's like an hour long. Um, her name is is it uh, Natasha? Uh, no, nope, I know. I, I don't. Leon. I don't. Leon. Like yeah, you don't like her because no. so she she I think she's gonna wind up being one of those actors that plays themselves in different movies, like your, your Denzel, your Will Smith, your Tom she did, Hanks. She did Russian Doll or something like that. <clears throat> so I didn't like Russian Doll. Um, you did or did not? I didn't, I didn't. I, I got through the first season. I was like, okay, I could see something here. And then the second season, I got through one episode and I was like, I don't like it. Um, it, just, it just wasn't for me for whatever reason. I think it's the, the too much time hoppiness and a bunch of stuff I don't care yes. about. Yeah. Um, but she's playing in Poker Face on Peacock. And I'm halfway through the first episode and it's basically Columbo. But uh, the first episode is kind of her origin, mm-hmm. like how she's going to probably become this great investigator or detective, or maybe not, I don't know. But I watched Columbo growing up with my grandma and love Columbo. Columbo was the man. Like, cause Columbo make you feel like, a, you try to kill Columbo at the end of the episode. <laughs> Every single time they were like, all right, I got to kill you. Because <laughs> not, not only are you belittling me, but you were just too good at your craft. And they think like, they got him. They're, and, and almost always they're like, that dumb gumshoe doesn't know. Right, right. And they ask them the every single time. Pull the cigar out. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> you know that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every fault. single time. So I I, I believe this is a, a spiritual successor, right? She's not a private uh, or a private PI or, or was it PI? Private investigator or anything like that. But she had, she's a human lie detector, basically, like already she's calling people out like nah you're lying nah this is this um and they're kind of giving her origin or whatever but i'm about halfway through this episode and then it clicks why because it jumps right off like i, I want to say i i actually paused it on the action i was like like it, will this be a shannon show or not right so like it's like six minutes a dialogue and then it's like um minute seven i paused it 
and somebody's already getting shot in, shot in the face, <laughs> followed by somebody else getting shot. I was just like, okay, Shannon might be in on this one. So I, I don't like her that much, first off, right? So like, I just, I don't think she's that great. Um, and then I saw the trailer and I was like, mm, I don't know where they're going, but I didn't, I didn't, I don't know, I, man, against my better judgment. You I don't, so I don't know. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish the first episode yet, but. Just got maybe. me with Last of Us. <laughs> just got me with Last of Us. I'm like, is this going to be the downfall of our friendship? Am I going to fall? Oh man. <laughs> like, so, so what's, what's on my highlight reel? On my highlight reel, uh, Darnie Darko, yeah. Pi, nope. The Last of Us. Oh, what's the other one? Those They're- two are, are unequivocally like either you love them or you will hate them. Requiem for a Dream. I don't know if you've seen that one. That was, uh, a, that was another. It's one. also on my list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The movies I, either you will love them or you will hate them. I was like, oh man, Ryan, what are you doing to me, man? So Pi Pi is very like I, I'm Pi is not high on my list. It's just. If you like Donnie Darko, you'll probably like Pi. But Record for a Dream, though, like if you feel like being sad, that's the movie to, to bring you down. I'm like, I'm too happy right now. Let me watch Record for a Dream. <laughs> I, no, I, I just, I don't know. I, I man. Uh, so I don't know, but I actually don't know about Poker Face. I honestly do not know. I'm only 30 minutes into an hour long episode. I'm just like, ah, I can see it. Um, only because I feel as though if it, if they can follow the Columbo, um, uh formula, it'll be worth watching because th- those shows always had me dying. Like, and I, and I love Columbo. I, like, I I do. And and the thing about Columbo that was different was that they show you the crime in the beginning, and that's they what they did in this one. It. And I was just like, I was just like, is that the way they did Columbo? Because I really I, I remember yes. being the way they did Columbo. Yep. And then he would be introduced into it in some yep. sort, and then he and, would start to like, this is this is. <laughs> So I think that's where it's going because like literally they showed you the crime seven, like it was like like legitimately the crime began like two minutes into it, but the killing started seven minutes into it. And then they do a thing where you're like, why are they introducing her in this story? And then it clicks where it's just like, oh, she has she has skin in the game in this one. And I think that's how it's gonna start her origin. It's like her origin story. Um, but I don't know how she jumps from what she's doing now to being a private investigator. No clue. Like that, right, that part I'm, is I'm, not cemented for me. I don't know I'm, how that happens. So it I'm may never you, happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna give it a shot, but only because of the Columbo thing. I, I, yeah, I, like, they put this on me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish it yet. <laughs> we have we have video proof. <laughs> I'm only 30 minutes into it, but I see the Columbo formula yeah. happening. I'm just like, okay. I don't know if it'll be a good fit for her. Um, Cause like legitimately she's just playing herself and, and, and orange is the, the new black and uh, Russian doll. She's just herself in different situations. And that's what this feels like. So I started, I started to watch orange is the new black. I couldn't, I couldn't stay with that. Like the, it started and out. And it either. Yeah. yeah it, it started out real good. And I was like, okay, it's not bad. Um, I didn't even like her in American pie. So like, I don't know if you remember way back when she was oh. in American pie. So she was, like, yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't like her then. Okay. So like, I just didn't, I didn't think she was that great an actress or whatever. And now it's just like, like she just looks so unkempt. Like I, I and I'm not saying every role, every role, role. beautiful on screen, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that, but she just looks like. But I think that's her thing. You're gonna hire that's... me. This is how I'm gonna look. You know. Yeah, I think that's her vibe. Like this is who I am, and you're gonna put me in these roles. And, and legitimately, I, I, because I find it interesting how she can just be herself in these different roles, and it just somehow works. Except for Russian Doll, I didn't like it. It was just and that seems too like over the top. Like. That seems like one you would like because you like the one with Michelle Yao, right? All things, everything, all the time, whatever. And that's you know what? What's crazy about that one? I'm not as hyped as everybody else. Like, I liked it because of how nonsensical it was. But people are saying like some, they're putting a lot of other stuff on top of it. Like um, where I'm just like, it wasn't that brilliant. But she, maybe I need to watch won, it again. That's what she won her award for, right? Yeah. It, I thought it was a good movie, but uh, I, I didn't, I wouldn't see it as being, um, you know, the the best, like being rated as high as it's being rated. Like I like Parasite better. Like if, you, if you're gonna go to that genre type of, that, that type of casting, that movie Parasite I thought was better than everything, everywhere, all at once, in my opinion. Um, but, and I, I haven't watched uh, Crazy Rich Agents, but I heard that was also uh, amazing. But these are the type of movies I would watch on the airplane ride, um, but now I don't travel. So, so now I watch them, uh, you know, 
uh, when I when I get a chance to. But that one I wouldn't I wouldn't say was the best movie of the year, but I I thought it was very entertaining to watch. I'll, I'll tell you like this: when it comes to Crazy Rich Asians, not you say that. So I haven't seen it, but my wife, whenever she says she likes a movie, I'm like, oh, that ain't for me. Like I I know I can't watch <laughs> that. And with Crazy Rich Asians, she was like, oh, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like I didn't really like it that much. So I'm like, oh, I definitely wouldn't like that. Then like that's like gotcha. not for me. Gotcha. But, because I there was a point where I was like, I'll give it a shot. I, but seeing the preview, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I do. I, so I do like that it, the the market is opening up, is becoming more mass appeal and things of that nature. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I don't I don't think that movie was an A, like everything, everywhere, all at once. I don't think it was A plus. I give it a B. Like I, I, I can see myself watching it again only because I, I do want to, like there's a bunch of stuff happening, like literally all at once. I think you can get different things depending on like you find those Easter eggs. Um, but it was pretty straightforward, like, so to speak. Uh, like it had an interesting beginning, it had a very interesting end, and then it's like, well, okay. Nah, not for me. I'll leave, I'll leave it to everybody else to watch. That ain't my that ain't my jam. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. But um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not recommending uh, Poker Face. <laughs> I've not absorbed enough myself, but uh, like they they're saying, it's it's uh, this. This is the spiritual successor to Columbo, and I'm, I'm down for Columbo because I need a good mystery. Like that glass onion didn't do it for me. I'm hoping, yeah, no, so. I'm, I feel you on that. I'm hoping I don't have to come here next week with my glasses on, <laughs> like Malcolm X, and be like, I was hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. <laughs> like I'm hoping I don't have to put my glasses on to be like Ryan. You, you, I, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm only, I'm like 28 minutes in. I know, I, I'm feeling. <laughs> Like the like that whole Columbo setup thing though, like I like that. Like if it is, yeah, if it is in that vein, and it's actually good because Columbo was actually good. But but Columbo, remember, was like an hour and a half too, right? Like yeah. going through and doing yeah, it, it very like there were like many movies. Yeah, um, and yeah. this is this kind of how this starting off. Like like legitimately, I thought it's gonna be like a thirty minute episode. So when I paused it, and I was I still got thirty two minutes left. <laughs> so like yeah. i thought it was gonna end there right and then go on to the next episode like no they're giving me a full contained story in this first episode so i'm like oh okay i'm yeah, just gonna finish the first one yeah i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it a shot and then i'll be like you'll hear you'll hear from me <laughs> like, Same. Same. I'm, not, I'm not gonna wait be like ryan <laughs> no i'm joking I'm joking with you. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm my own man. I make my own decisions. So if I watch it, I gotta blame me, right? Like, like right, oh. right. Yeah, ain't on me. Like, look, I put I already put that there. Ain't on me. Uh, game wise, though, because uh, we're we're nearing the end of the episode, I'd say uh, so. I continue to play God of War Ragnarok. Uh, I've gotten further. I still didn't get to the fight. Like, there's a lot of stuff between me getting uh, it's a new weapon, and then me getting to use it. It's like a lot in between. I told you. I told you you got a little bit. I told you you got. Yeah. Yeah. so like am i halfway done like how far like this game is taking a long time it's good don't get me wrong but it's like this is a very long game i, I think you're past halfway though with the weapon that you have you're past halfway okay because right? that's one of those things where you you get that later but you're you're not like at 90 percent or anything like okay. that okay and now i'm supposed to go back and use another place i'm like i'm not doing that right now I, i'm trying to mainline <laughs> this story uh and get through it but I have a feeling I'm gonna get to the end and get my my get crushed. I have so many upgrades I haven't upgraded. Like I just have just exclamation points on everything. I'm just you, like I don't feel like doing this. You need to do that. <laughs> like there's going. I might to. I might put I might put Junior on it. Like uh like legitimately I think it was two weeks ago. I handed him a controller. I was like upgrading. Is this too much? Like I I used to love that aspect of it. Like the grind and the getting the skills and the abilities and what have you. I honestly don't. I, they give me arrows. Let me know what's better than this and what's better than that. And I got quests to get better armor. I'm just like, just how are we so reverse when it comes to game and movie? I used to be there though. I, that's what's so crazy <laughs> to me. Like, like the mechanics are getting the mechanics are too deep for my level of attention right now. I don't have the attention span. Like, feed me this good storyline. Let me get like there should be an easy button. Like, I just click a button, which I thought there was. I thought there was an, an auto upgrade button. Like. I thought you could just tell it, like, give me the the best of what I have. Give me that. I haven't seen that. I could have sworn that it existed for people like me. It's just like, just let me click R3 in. 
<laughs> and make me the best Kratos I can be right now. Well, because you have different selections of things, like the way that tree is. Like if you have the exclamation points everywhere, you have if you haven't really everywhere at what everything is, like there's different things you can choose to where it'll it'll have you doing different things depending on the route you right. Like your then your so, fighting style and yeah. whatever you want to prefer. Yeah. I'm just like, man, listen, just make me a generalist. Like <laughs> Cause I just don't feel like digging through all these trees and all these skills. Like, but I, I get it. I just, whatever, for whatever reason, my attention span has never snapped back since um, pre COVID. Like, I just want to get, want to get it over. Like, let me get like, cause the story is so good. Yeah. <laughs> like I just want to get through it. Uh, and then maybe I'll go back. I won't, but I should. Right. Cause they gave me hours and hours, tens of hours of content that I probably would never see. And that's unfortunate. Uh, cause I haven't done that since. Grand Theft Auto 4? It's been that long since 100% of the game. Uncharted Uncharted 3? Like, I have not 100% of the game in forever. I and I and I have a hundred percent of it and I'm I'm kind of done too, right? Because like I, I'm almost 80 hours, I'm 78 hours or something like that. Yeah. And and that's so and that's amazing for the the dollar per hour and I paid 70 bucks to get 80 hours of, of enjoyment. I ain't well, got it in me. I just want 20. I'm still not done, but I'm still not 100%. Like, right. cause even after the main story ends, there's stuff to do, right? Like, right. And yeah. that, that's, I'm going to cut it off. I know it. And I don't want to, <laughs> but I'm like, on to the next. <laughs> and that's just, a, it's just a waste because they're giving me so much stuff for the amount of money I paid. Cause I think $70 for even a 20 hour experience is a good investment. I'm, like, I'm getting 20 hours, but you're getting, you're getting like 140 hours for $70 investment. No nah, man, my 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 back catalog is so big, I got I got to move on to the next. I don't know, man. Like we we are just totally different. Like right. I'm play play everything in the game. You're like, nah, I don't want to do that. I think I think I'm I'm more like I've, I'm leaning more towards quantity quantity over quality nowadays. Like I don't want a bunch of bad games, but I want to play a bunch of different experiences. And if I give you a hundred hundred plus hours of my time. Then I can't jump into something else, and that thing just keeps sliding back and back. And this games I'll never even play. Yeah, you're. You know what? That is a good point because I don't. I don't play a lot of games. Yeah. Like this one, I liked. I don't want to say the first one, but the the new the newer right one. 28, 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, not the two thousand, the early two thousand one, but like that one, I liked it so much. I like when this was coming out. I was like, oh, I I've got to have that. Yeah. But for me, it's like it's like two games a year. And I don't even get those all the time. Madden and 2K. That's it. For me. Right. Like, right. So, so I get it. So I, I definitely respect it. But I'm like, man, because Dead Space just came out, the remake for that. I, I'm missing that. I might never get, get on, on board on that one. There's games from last year, like Elden Ring and a few others. I've probably never experienced. Uh, I, <laughs> there's a, a new Zelda coming out. Like, that, that's going to be at least 50, 60 hours, right? So I'm just like, I got a budget for that when that drops this summer. Like, there's so many, and there's so many more games, right? And then Game Pass also spoils me, right? I give them, I think I give them 15 bucks a month. I think it's what it is. Uh, and I get 100 games. And I, I, I will literally cut on the Xbox and start flipping through the uh, menu and then just cut it off. I'm like, I'm analysis paralysis. Like, there's just too many games. I don't know what I, what I want to play. So it's a, it's a good time. Don't get me wrong. It's a good time to be, be to be alive. <laughs> but I'm not getting anything accomplished when it comes game-wise. I used to be able to play a solid 10 to 12 games every year. I, I knew, like, it was like clockwork. Like, I would knock all these out, like, like one-ish a month, and then have, like, I can talk about all these games. Uh, like, I'm part of the, uh, the zeitgeist. I could talk about it. We could have a water cooler moment about it. Now, I get through, like, maybe four, maybe. It's because life happens, man. Like, think, think about back then, right? You just had one child, right? One child, you know, you right. could time in, you could do whatever, spend time with the wife, whatever. But then it's two children, three children. You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things where it's like, as you start to get to more, it's like that time is just is less and less that you have right and then you got to study and you got to stay up on stuff yeah, like, man. then you feel guilty i'm like i should be learning about sock 2 right now <laughs> <laughs> or cmmc 2.0 i'm over here trying to play persona 3 i think is why i just started up a couple nights ago um because all the personas hit game game pass so i got three four and five to get through right i'm i'm probably not <laughs> but i want to 
I want to, but every time I pick it up, I'm like, ah, I should probably be learning about this framework or yada, yada, yada. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy times. But I think that pretty much wraps us up for uh, for this week. So definitely continue to tune in, uh, everybody. Uh, definitely thank you, Shannon, for another great week. Uh, hit, up, hit us up throughout the week to look at our Monday and Tuesday topics, our Wednesday discussion. Uh, and then next week, if this is your favorite, like, again, listen to this one, but then go back and listen to the other ones too. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're 15 minutes or less. Just just knock them out. I think this this week, we every every one of them was under 12 minutes. Go ahead and listen to those. Uh, see if we can pique your interest in other things aside from our our pontificating about, you know, uh, things we don't finish. <laughs> Shows will, that will we'll never conclude. Uh, things of that nature, but hit us up at all of our social medias. They go by our name. You can hit me up personally. I'm at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Clubhouse. Stay safe. Stay secure. <laughs>